Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo, and I'm here reviewing Sam Jane. This is a bearish gap down that's happening live tonight. And I got to be honest with you, it's a good one. This is an expensive stock, that's true. It's had its share of problems. I've called so many options trades in this, I just even don't even remember how many anymore. The fact that the stock is breaking once again is not even remotely a surprise. Look at the chart. Look at this chart. In fact, let's go back even more. No, I can't. 2006, is it? This is a crushing gap for this stock. And like I said, I'm just not surprised. So this is a top watch to the downside for tomorrow, Wednesday. Again, this is happening at night. Let's look at the live gap right here. Look at this, four o'clock, kaboom. In fact, the low in here was 290. This even looked worse a little while ago. So a very, very bearish gap here in CMG. And like I said, it's had its share of problems. The stock has been falling and falling and falling and falling. And I have no idea actually where this opens tomorrow morning because that's such a long time away. And you can see the stock bounced. And actually at the high up here and the bounce was almost a seven dollar bounce so tomorrow this could be under 290 it could be back over 300 again it's a long way away to even see but as of tonight if this would be the open tomorrow around 294 for cmg at 9 30 in the morning uh, this looks like a nice bearish gap i did not rate it yet per my system but i can tell that it's going to rate over 20 points per the 26 point rating system and that's how I determine when I'm going to watch every morning. Whether it's one thing or two things, I, I did see a bunch of things out tonight, so I will rate all of them. And again, I want to just double, triple check this to see where it's in the morning. But this, I, I really have a high level of conviction that this will drop on the day no matter where it opens. The stock has been struggling. It has been falling, particularly in this kind of market, which we're in a bullish market. Uh, people do not want to hold on to stocks that aren't performing. And CMG, I mean, it just isn't cutting the honey mustard here. Uh, if you can just look from the summer, just the summer of this year, from June, okay, from this gap that happened just here in June, which really, if you think about it, it was not that long ago. June to July, July to August, August to September, September to October, four months. So four months, that's about right, because 620, 620, today is October 24th. The high here was 444. 60 on the day of this bearish gap on 620 gosh knows where it'll be tomorrow but what a collapse not a 50 percent loss in value but 150 points you know a loss in value that's nothing to sneeze at i mean this thing is just really really weak so I'll be watching this tomorrow. There's a couple other things, like I said, out tonight, and there'll be more tomorrow morning, but you can look at where this opens in the morning. This looks like a nice short tomorrow. Whether you do a put, whether you buy a put, whether you do a day trade in it, uh, Chipotle is down. So have a great night, everyone. We'll see what we get tomorrow and the rest of the week. Nice to have some quality shorts, though, to watch for tomorrow, and we'll see how we do. Email me if you have any questions or if you want to sign up for the Golden Gap course and learn about my 26-point rating method. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.